I'm here at AAD 2016 with Henny Schmidt, Manager, Business Development, Denel Vehicle Systems. At the show, Denel unveiled an Africa truck demonstrator. Henny, could you tell us a little bit about that vehicle and the thought processes behind it? Yes, certainly. The uh, Africa truck has been designed and developed uh, on the request from the Army that uh, the NEL, Arms Corps and CSIR look into the technology to renew the truck technology in South Africa and ensure that the technology is still there. As you know, the current uh, trucks being used by the South African Army uh, is in use, has been in use since 1975, 40 year old technology. We have to make sure that uh, we keep up to date with the current technology. The Africa truck is based on the technology that we have acquired on the RG31 mine protection and ballistic protected vehicles that the NEL vehicle systems uh, is famous for producing. The truck technology demonstrator is exactly what it says. It's been developed to demonstrate the capability of the industry. It is definitely not the final product that we have at this stage. We produced this vehicle designed and produced it within 12 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks since the request came through. What will happen now, the truck will be handed over to Armscor and the CSIR and they will be doing some testing and evaluation of the truck at the Gerotech test track, the Armscor Gerotech test track. It will be mainly mobility and durability testing of the vehicle. Only once the testing is completed will the final configuration of the truck be decided on and only then will there be a decision on the acquisition of a fleet of these vehicles. You say potential acquisition of the truck. South Africa has for a number of years been running the Vistula project. How does this impact on that, if indeed at all? Okay, let me make this very clear. This Africa truck is a demonstrator to demonstrate capability. It is definitely not in competition with the Vistula program. As you know, the Vistula program will be mainly soft skin vehicles, B vehicles, where the NEL vehicle systems, they, we produce mine and protected vehicles, and this is what we want to demonstrate. So let's be clear, no competition for the Vistula project at all. And the vehicle, as it's as it's shown here today, what what automotive components has the demonstrator got in in the way of engine, transmission, and so on? As we have uh, discussed, this is based on the RG31 mine protected vehicle. The specific model of the Africa truck is based on the RG31 Mark VI. and the RG31 Mark VI is equipped with a Cummins QSB engine. Allison 4500 transmission uh, gearbox. Uh, we have the uh, BAE systems transfer case, and it'll be axle tech axles that we will be fitting to the vehicle. And clearly, the, the truck, as shown, has a, a conventional ladder frame chassis. It's not a monocoque like the RG31. Is that a, a purpose designed chassis, or has that been taken from somewhere? No, correct. It's a purpose designed chassis which we fitted to the RG31 Mark 6 cab, so it is unique. And then in terms of the chassis that we fitted to the back of the cab, it's a modular design as you have seen. A standard ISO container will fit onto the back of the truck. So it can be used then in a modular fashion. You can fit a field uh, ambulance to it, a field hospital, a field office, a Bowser truck. It will be a vehicle, family of vehicles that can be used for many different purposes. And, and again, the truck, as shown, has a, a hook lift, a load handling system on the back. Um, is, is that the intent for the final product, or, or again, is it a case of if you want, you can have? No, it is definitely an intent for the final product. The current system that we have on there is our own design. We might move to a commercial design later on when we complete the uh, testing and evaluation of the vehicle, but it is the intent that you have a hook system on the back of the truck which can lift and download the container systems. Excellent, thank you very much.